Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber. The Tesla Roadster, released in 2008, was a groundbreaking electric vehicle featuring multi-cell battery packs with nearly 7,000 cells in each pack. This innovative design was later adopted by many of the other EV manufacturers. Although the original 10-year design life expectation of this first battery pack has been exceeded, with many still functioning after 15 years. The Roadster battery packs have been under much scrutiny to determine how they would eventually fail. No one was sure how the other Tesla vehicles, especially the Model S, using the same cells will transition to end of life. The original 10-year design life expectation of those first Roadster packs, however, was well exceeded by even 2023, as they are mostly still functional exceeding the life expectancy by five years to date. J.B. Strobel, the original CTO of Tesla for 14 years, the key designer of the first battery packs, told us last year he has one of the first Roadster battery packs in his Roadster ever made just before 2008, and that his was still running, much to his surprise. In a recent video, however, he seems to have adjusted his life projection for these multi-cell packs to 15 years. Roadster battery packs are finally beginning to indicate end-of-life symptoms. But oddly enough, not in the original pack released between 2008 and 2012, which for the most part are still going strong after 15 years. The first indication of how packs will die is now in a replacement pack released in 2016, five years after the first packs were released. These newer packs were touted as 400 mile range battery packs instead of the 200 miles anticipated for the first generation using a more potent 3.2 amp hour 18650 cell versus the 2.2 amp hour cells originally used. Some Roadster owners who wanted the additional range or desired to proactively avoid eventual original pack failure bit the bullet and spent $32,000 for a replacement pack. So while the first generation Roadster packs are still cranking along, the 2016 replacement packs intended to improve the range are suddenly manifesting a symptom that eventually makes the Roadsters undrivable, a sudden loss of power that declines rapidly to the point where the car can't even go over 60 miles an hour and takes forever to enter a freeway ramp. One customer who lives in the hills was eventually unable to even make it back to his garage. We had two such vehicles in our service center, and after extensive diagnostic sessions, comparative analysis between functioning cars, part swapping, and deep dive diagnostics scouring log files for clues, we concluded that the loss of this power is at this time isolated to the 2016 version replacement battery packs. It was a road test process using CAN sniffing software under live conditions that allowed us to record a number of parameters while driving. The most revealing was a difference we recorded with 100% throttle call and the brick voltages displayed between functioning 2008 Legacy Pack Roadsters and a 2016 replacement pack vehicle exhibiting loss of power which showed substantially lower voltage per brick. To further isolate the symptom, we included a recently upgraded second generation upgrade battery pack Roadster for comparative analysis. What we found was that the individual brick voltages compared to the still functioning 2008 legacy packs was much closer in voltage than the lost power Roadster with packs from 2016. We shared this data with Tesla Roadster Engineering and are now collaborating with them by sending one of the affected Roadsters to the local Tesla service center to validate our findings and conclusions. This cooperation is essential to seeking a solution since many cars are now being affected. All of this suggests that we finally have an answer to Roadster battery end-of-life symptoms from a completely unexpected source, the newer replacement 2016 Roadster battery packs. Now, some history. The Roadster was the first production electric vehicle using thousands of lithium-ion cells, 6,831 to be exact, 
in a thousand pound pack squeezed into the car just behind the seats. Speculation for end of life scenarios was that cells going resistive, which are usually infrequent aberrations during the normal life cycle of an electric vehicle and quite repairable, would at end of life accelerate. And the final stages of a dying pack would be an overwhelming quantity of cell failures. This expectation proved elusive, however, since after a resistive cell pack repair, which we have been doing for years by removing resistive cells from circuit and isolating and neutralizing the affected resistive cell, typically results in another few years of life in the pack. And nothing was yet triggering any rapid end of life decline. What caught us all by surprise is that while the first generation Roadster packs have not yet begun a decline, and are still plugging along, it was the 2016 replacement packs released eight years after the first generation packs that began providing end of life performance loss clues. When two roasters showed up at our service center with new identical symptoms we had never seen before, loss of power over 30 miles per hour, and we became aware of more at Tesla service centers or customer locations reporting the same loss of power we began to see a common denominator. All roadsters affected were 2016 pack replacements to date. This common symptom seemed to be finally providing some clues how packs will behave when they reach end of life. Now, the unanswered question was, why are these 2016 replacement packs, produced eight years after the original pack, still going strong, the first to fail? A cell quality issue seemed to be the answer. Another oddity was why these 2016 packs, which were produced from 2016 to 2019, are now seemingly all failing at the same time. Without final corroboration from Tesla, we believe that these packs were produced from the same cell run lot and they would deteriorate whether in use or sitting on a shelf waiting to be inserted in a pack which would explain the synchronized failures. So this is not the first indication that Tesla was struggling with a 2016 second generation Roadster battery pack, which was offered for under three years by Tesla with production eventually halted due to a never attained 400 mile range and with rapid range decline to 200 miles before the pack eventually settled. Production was halted and engineering regrouped to resume production of another replacement battery pack version around 2020, presumably with 3.2 amp hour cells, and replacement packs were again available for the Roadster. It is interesting to note that during the 2020 to 2021 period, when Tesla did not offer a replacement pack, Roadster values dipped to their lowest point, around 35,000 to 40,000, for a fully functional Roadster. This was likely because no one was keen on buying a car that may not have the ability to continue to drive. And Tesla is the only supplier of these replacement Roadster battery packs with no aftermarket propulsion battery pack vendors. During the creation of this video, we have become aware of more 2016 pack replacement Roadsters manifesting this loss of power symptom, which usually begins with a subtle loss of punch or a squishy pedal feeling as one owner described it. The decline becomes more noticeable over a few more months and eventually renders the car undrivable. Tesla has been more than cooperative and helpful in making the Roadster engineering team available for collaboration as we wait for validation, confirmation, and a solution. Tesla's commitment to resolving issues and learning from these challenges underscores the company's dedication to continuous improvement and innovation. We anxiously await their findings. I'm Pete Gruber. Thanks for joining us for another video segment.